Howdy folks, it's Manic Mark, your real fake outsider artist, coming to you from the bunker system located underneath the art villa and found somewhere in the jungles of the Midwest. Hey folks, today is Play With Your Organ Day. That's right, Play With Your Organ Day, and tomorrow will prob probably be the same, and well, if you're under 50 and in good health, Maybe it's play with your organ day every day. I don't know. Um, so, but in this case, I'm referring to LP. <sighs> what did you think I was referring to? It's wacky LP cover day. Now look at this LP cover. Here's a dude on a BMW playing a Wurlitzer. How can I pass this up? I did not know anything about this album when I bought it seen only the front cover. It's autographed on the back by the effervescent Gene Robertson. almost forgot what his name was, Gene Robertson. By the way, I'm wearing my uh, organ playing attire today. Attire? That's right. It's hard to get funny looking hats that fit this fat head of mine. <clears throat> I, I look day and night, but it's difficult to find them. Uh, anybody out there want to trade a painting for like some really fancy headwear? Like sort of Carmen Miranda-esque wild headwear? I don't know, I'm just asking, throwing, throwing that out there. So what we have is, and now this is not a one-off, this fella, Gene Robertson, has uh, made probably two LPs, I don't know, there could be more. Now, you know, I've got a couple, um, I love organ playing like exotic lounge, kind of a space age sounding organ. So um, there you go. Anyway, I'm, I'm going on. I'm going to have to cut all of this out because I just ramble on. Um, so Gene Robertson, I'm looking at the, this is wonderful. Oh, did you see the fake smoke coming out of the tailpipes? That's great. That's great. This whole thing is put together fairly well. And then they put this really badly drawn fake smoke coming out of the tailpipes. That's uh, quite a contrast um, with everything else that's going on in the cover. Uh, so I've got two LPs, and I'll share the other Play With Your Organ LP tomorrow uh, with the wacky cover. Uh, but it's like on these LPs and the, on the in the text, it's written, you know, of course, by the, the artist. Apologies for organ play. <laughs> And they try to pump it up like it's something more than it is. Like, yeah, organ playing. This is gonna rock, right? And of course, you'll you'll hear and you well know if you've listened to any organ playing, which I love. It's not. <laughs> it's not heavy duty, kick-ass stuff. Tomorrow's LP is gonna be entitled um, "Badass" or "Kick-Ass Organ Playing" or something like that. The, today's painting is. Um, motorcycle and I'm gonna cut all that out there's no way that's getting into this video mm -mm -mm. We'll go back to that later so uh, what do we got here we got uh, Gene and oh right I was talking about how they try to pump this stuff up like it's something more than it is well here's what Gene Robertson has written about his um, and rides the mighty world well there's, there's actually some reason for this guy to be on a motorcycle have playing the organ on a motorcycle as it turns out, this cover actually makes com total and complete sense, unfortunately. <laughs> it doesn't really take away anything for me. Because the story, of, at first I was like, oh man, this makes sense. That's disappointing. <laughs> but then when I'm getting into the history of it, and I find out a little bit about this, what's going on here, I, I found it very interesting. First, let's go back to Gene, like the concept that, that you can make organ playing kick ass. I, I, you know, and they apologize for it here in very subtle ways. Gene Robertson is no newcomer, newcomer to the thousands who have attended his church and theater organ concerts, easily bridging the generation gap. You see, that's kind of an apology for organ playing. It's like it's not cool, but but I've easily bridged the gap, so I'm making it cool. I don't think so. Um, each week he packs over 50 students into his organ workshop so they can play with his organ. Uh, oh, <laughs> at Laguna Hills Leisure World. Boy, that sounds pretty hip. You've bridged the generation gap, brother. <laughs> uh, 
oh, wait a minute, I'm not done yet. One of the largest retirement communities in the nation. So he's bridging the, the generation gap by drawing over 50 students to play with his organ workshop at Laguna Hills Leisure World, which is a retirement center. Mom, can I go? I was going to go smoke pot, but I want to go to Gene Robertson's Leisure World Play With Your Organ Student Day. <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, uh, equally at home with his own generation, here again. It's kind of an apology, like, well, it didn't work with the, jet, the, the generation coming up, and it's probably not working much with my generation either, uh, but I'm just going to say it is. It's very, very odd. Recently, his Sunday evening Bach organ concert was sponsored by the college department of his church and was hailed as a successful youth happening, quote, unquote. Again, Mom. I was going to go out with the boys and have a few beers, and it's going to be happening. It's going to be a youth happening. Well, maybe they'll have beer there in the parking lot. Then it would be a youth happening. I don't... And there we go to the last paragraph. I know you couldn't wait. After the enthusiastic appearance of his first organ album, Oh Happy Days, are here again. Gene has wanted to produce a fun album, quote unquote. See, this is wonderful. The first album he did sucked. <laughs> it was boring and horrible, and this one is a fun album, in quotes, meaning I'm not exactly sure if it's going to be fun, but I'm just going to say it. I'm just going to throw it out there and hope you agree. Uh, played on a genuine theater pipe organ, and then this is great. The ending's great. Drum roll for the ending. So here it is, the living, breathing, roaring Wurlitzer Pipe Organ with its youthful rider at the controls. Clear the track, Gene Robertson rides the mighty Wurlitzer. Hey! I should probably go into a song here. Okay. There you go. That is like, all the songs are like that. So after all this fa fa fanfare, this buildup, this giant buildup to Gene riding the Miley Wurlitzer with, on the bike, this is what you get. Now, a brief note about the motorcycle. I said this, this cover made complete sense, and it does. Well, there is a very famous bike shop in his area, apparently, uh, Coons Motorcycle. Uh, owned by a fellow named Joe Kuhn, who liked, loved uh, pipe organs. And he, he assembled one at great expense in his motorcycle shop. Isn't that unusual? It's a motorcycle shop, but, you know, there aren't any motorcycle guys around, you know, like tough guys. And, and all the people he interviews like, I don't even know I'm in a motorcycle shop. There's no motorcycles in my vision. I haven't seen one. I'm just here to listen to, again, like, and there's an apology for, for you know, like, well, we have, we run a motorcycle shop, but we really don't like it when, you know, really kind of rough and tumble motorcyclists come in. We only allow motorcycle people that play instruments to come in. And no guitars and drums. We just want, you know, the organ, maybe a horn. If you're in a horn section, you can come in. You know, you play the harp. Maybe those little tinkly bells in the back of an orchestra, you know. We don't want any real leather, no black leather motorcycle people. So then, so because of that, I, I get the idea that I should do a painting. The Manic Mark painting should be of a the one time and in the motorcycle shop they would lock the doors apparently on Friday night and have a concert, and they show all these grandmothers sitting around. So I figured the one time they found not only is it just amazingly bizarre that there would be a pipe organ in a motorcycle shop, but maybe the more bizarre thing would be is they found like a real ass-kicking, leather-wearing motorcycle guy that liked to play the pipe organ and could play it. And he did a concert, and this is the one night that he did a concert. That's what this painting's all about. His mother shows up, and his course is really rough around the edges and says some off-color things during the concert. Um, but he plays beautiful music, his bike's parked inside, they're wearing sparkly, everybody's wearing like loud, collared, 70s clothing and or sparkly clothing, which I, I crave. Why can't I find 
as much sparkly clothing on eBay as I want. It's very rare indeed to find really gaudy sparkly clothing in my price range, mind you. Um, so thanks, folks, and um, happy holidays, and I hope you're no more afraid now than when you listen to the, the guy playing with his organ. See ya.